beer and cheddar cheese. It's a delicious combination that's made its appearance on the show before. Like beer and cheddar dip, or my now deleted beer Bruh. and cheddar fondue video. Switzerland's neutral my ass. And now there's this. Beer and cheddar macaroni. Let's make it. Alrighty then, let's assemble the first component, the noodle. So I got a pot of boiling water, to which we'll add eight ounces of macaroni elbows. Okay, without hurting yourself, check to see if the pasta is al dente. It is. So, turn off the heat and drain the pasta. And rinse the noodles in cold water to stop the cooking process. And now comes my favorite part, the beer cheese sauce. I don't care what some skinny know-it-all European has to say. It's heaven in liquid form. Toss two tablespoons of butter in a sauce pot. And once, okay, once the butter is melted, add two tablespoons of flour. All right, once we formed our roux, Slowly add two cups of beer. We're making roux, that way it'll be easier for the cheese to dissolve into. Trust me, I did it without the roux and I got a gloppy cheesy mess. Something I'm willing to bet happened to binging with Babish off camera. Uh, oh, don't worry, no beer was wasted in this. Brings us to a boil. Okay, the roux has officially thickened up, so drop the heat down to low. Yeah, now it looks a bit on the thin side. That's because we need to add our cheese. Once we do, it'll be nice and thick. But before we do, let's add some spices. Let's add a teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. and half a teaspoon of paprika. All right, now we can get to the main star of the show, the cheese. Add, add six ounces of sharp cheddar. Add six ounces of sharp cheddar slowly. We don't want a big glob forming. This isn't a Nikado avocado video. <laughs> Then let's add two ounces of shredded Gruyere cheese. And two ounces of Pecorino Romano. All right, let's give it a quick taste test. Gonna need more cheddar. Perfect. Once the cheese is done, grab yourself a medium-sized skillet, add our cooked pasta noodles, and pour our cheese on top of it. And if you have any leftover sauce, boom, cheese soup. Now normally this is where it ends, but let's CRJ it up even further. Let's add some bacon, and some green onions. Mix it all together. I think this needs a little bit more cheese soup. Now top everything off with even more shredded cheddar. And finally, panko soaked in unsalted butter. Turn your oven's broiler to high. All right, once it heats up, put our skillet in the oven. Cook it until the top's nice and brown and the cheese is nice and gooey. Mm-mm, a full skillet of beer, mac and cheese all to myself. I must tell you right now, my mental health took a serious beating over the quarantine last year. 
but this is helping it heal. Well, that and consuming antidepressants as if they were candy. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Watching. If you like the video, smash the like button. If you really like the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, and support me on Patreon. Oh, and uh, the so-called deleted video is now on my Patreon. Now will you give me money?